This is uh, Romar's Class 8 clean room. And in our clean room, we have a controlled environment that allows us to ensure that the product we make time after time after time has got the same level of contamination, the same level of uh, bio burden. Um, it's not trying to produce uh, an aseptic or completely germ free environment. It's creating an environment that is the same day after day after day. So the clean room has got filtered air, which comes down in a layered uh, pattern to the floor, which sweeps across the floor and then is collected and taken out and filtered again as it passes through. It is temperature controlled to 23 plus or minus two degrees. Um, it is a very, very controlled environment. In the controlled environment, we do our processes that allow us to make sure that um, the products are ready for sterilization or for use um, out uh, as they're packed and then leave the clean room to go out into the wide world. Whether it's uh, assembly, checking, um, whether it's a, uh, a final inspection, it's all done in the controlled environment. Within the clean room, we have the production machines that are used to make the parts that uh, go into medical devices or, or other clean room requirement devices. This is a, uh, an electric injection molding machine that uh, is used for high precision, but somewhat larger parts. It's fully electric to avoid any contamination from hydraulic oils. And it's, uh, it's one of the machines we use as part of the molding process. Here we have a high precision uh, micro molding injection machine. It's a small 20 ton machine. It has a 4cc shot capacity. 4cc uh, is a, a quite a very small shot. Uh, when you consider that it only takes 20 drops of water to make 1cc, you're talking about a total capacity of injection of material of 80 drops of water. Not much at all, really. It's composed just like a normal injection molding machine of a heated screw and barrel and a feeding system, but everything is of a very small size and very highly precise nature. These machines would be used for making products where the actual amount of material in each product could be measured in parts of a gram. If you needed a very, very tiny plastic piece that would weigh only a quarter of a gram, this would be the kind of machine you would get it made on. It allows control and precise sizing of the amount of material that goes in and uh, gives you a product which is ready to go at micro sizes or very small sizes. So these machines are ideal for when you need very, very tight control. We've made products in machines like this that have uh, tolerances of uh, less than 0.1 of a millimetre. So we are talking under 100 microns of wall thickness on some of our products made in this kind of machine. This machine is designed to use uh, thermoplastics as their feeding material. Thermoplastics work by uh, melting to become a liquid material which is able to move through the system, through the die, through the runners, get into the part and at the part is cooled down until it it forms a final shape and then becomes solid again. Most of what we call plastics uh, are thermoplastic in that they will melt and flow and then solidify again. So this machine is designed to heat the material, melt it, move it and then form it in a die as a thermoplastic machine. Here we have our 30 ton liquid silicon rubber LSR injection molding machine. It's a micro molder again. It is, uh, it has a 4cc shock capacity, but we can also go down to a 2cc shock capacity with a smaller plunger screw and barrel assembly. Liquid silicon rubbers uh, work slightly differently to thermoplastic. What we have uh, are a, a part A and a part B material that's uh, of the consistency of uh, a paste or perhaps a uh, thick treacle and that is pumped through some tubes into a mixing system which feeds the two halves mixed together into again a screw and barrel which are this time cooled, not heated, so the material doesn't um, 
vulcanise ahead of time. It is then screwed in and injected into a heated die. The die is heated up to 150 to 200 degrees sometimes temperature. And at that point, the material vulcanises into a solid rubbery material. Um, this machine is useful for very high volume, quick turnaround of silicone products. It allows us to control the size and shape of the product very, very accurately. We can make uh, many small parts or just a few of medium sized parts. Again, we could mould silicone parts here that would be 10 parts, would, wouldn't even weigh a gram, couldn't be moulded on, on a machine of this size. So as well as the original moulding that might be required, we can also do in clean room assembly as required, we can do packaging, we can do heat sealing, we can prepare everything to get it ready to go to the outside world to be sterilised and then go into full production.